everyone and welcome to or back to my channel so today's video is a barn tutorial because I haven't really done one in quite a long time and I feel like most of my last barn tutorials are a lot more kind of English style and I feel like this barn could go either way I feel like it could be an English barn and I think it also can go for a more kind of rustic Western barn so I wanted to go for something a little more on the Western side like I said because I haven't really done anything like that so that's what we're doing and I this barn is actually quite easy to make and I'll just be showing you step by step so let's go ahead and hop right in okay so first thing is I'm gonna take stripped spruce log and then I'm gonna place down eight blocks just like this and I like to make the ends upward and the next you're going to count six blocks for the entrance of the barn and then once you've done that place down your logs and then do another eight four four wait three and then four five six seven eight perfect and now for the side of the barn we're going to make it 28 blocks long and then once you've done that you're just going to connect the other two sides okay let's begin with the front walls of the barn you're going to build these poles up to five so that's one two three four five and then you're going to take bricks and then do two bricks here leave two for a window and then two more and then on the corner you're going to build up another post to five blocks and then you'll just kind of fill it all in with brick leaving a two by two window yeah right two by two <laughs> sorry if my uh measurements are a little off um and then you're just going to do the same thing on this side so that's two bricks on this side and then you'll leave two for the window do a post build it up to five two bricks and then build the window okay and then next I got spruce trap doors and I made like little sliding doors they're two wide and four high and then you'll kind of do the brick for the arch and then two stairs upside down underneath and then um, trap doors like that and then you'll just do the same exact thing on the other side of the barn Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and get started on the roof, and it's very simple. It's just slabs all the way up until you kind of get flush with the entrance of the barn. So you're just going to keep doing slabs, and then I'll go on the other side and do the slabs. And then here I am on the other side building the slabs all the way up until there are six blocks in between both of the inclines i guess i don't know um but anyway i need to build this up one more and one two three four five six so there you go that's perfect i actually i need to put it back one so that it has the hangover and then you're going to um fill all of this in with brick And then you'll need to fill these little cracks in with the slabs because they won't let you fill it in with brick. Um, you can't like put a brick slab on a different slab. So yeah, but anyway, so this is how it's looking. And then now I'm going to build this up one. And now you're just going to cut out two for the window, build it up, and then one strip across. And then obviously put in the window. And then I'm going to take spruce trap doors and then put them on the bottom. And then for the roof on this thing, we're going to just do stairs, not slabs. It's just stairs. And then you'll take it all the way up. And then it's it's even so it'll just go flush you don't have to put a slab on top which I always love it when that happens I never really plan it I just I don't know I just build roofs and then if it's flush great if it's not then I just put a slab on top um and then once I've done this I'm just going to build the roof all the way back if that makes sense well I'll show you okay so you're just gonna do this and you'll basically just you know fill in the whole roof which I won't bore you with so I will see you when I've filled in all of the roof 
Okay, so roof has been filled in. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to just put brick all in here and then I'm just going to do the same window and everything that I did in the front. I'll just do it in the back. Okay, so time for the windows on the side. You're just going to count six blocks over and then cut out um, or put a trap door and then cut out two for the window and I'm actually going to change all of the windows to black and then same thing on the side count six, blo six blocks down and then put a trap door and then cut out two put the window um, but yeah I'm changing all the windows to black because I just think it looks a lot better than light gray um, but anyway for under here I'm just going to do trap doors so that you don't have that kind of you know that little crack there and then change the windows because black just looks better and it kind of makes it pop a little bit more so yeah and then next you're just gonna fill both sides all in with brick okay so now I'm gonna cut out the doors for the runs and this barn doesn't really have to have the runs if you don't want it to but I think it just fits the style of the barn a lot and looks really good so I'm just gonna do um, trap doors on the side of this as well to kind of match the front of the barn and it just looks better and then I'm gonna put trap doors underneath so there you go now we're gonna build another one and it's one two three four five blocks apart um, and then you'll just do the same thing I'm gonna put the post there just it looks better when you're looking at it from the side and then cut it out do another little post and then put your trap doors and then I'm not gonna do like a third door um, for the run the um, towards the end is gonna be like a little tack room so I'm just gonna put a window there Okay, so now I'm gonna do the fences for the runs. And if you wanna know how I retextured the end rods to match the um, dark oak post, I will link a video in the description that will show you how you can do it. And I just use this app and it makes it really easy to retexture different items. So go check that out if you wanna know how to make these fences. And also, don't mind my barn in the back. That was the first, like, trial barn that I built. I was trying to figure out, like, which one I wanted to build. And so I always, like, build the barn first and then do build it again. And that's when I film and, like, film the tutorial. But anyway, yeah, it's just chilling back there and half of the roof isn't even finished. So, <laughs> oh well. And then I'm going to put some little hanging light things here with lanterns that add just a really nice little touch. Okay, so now I'm going to fill the rest of the aisleway in with stone. Okay, so time for the interior, and you can really do whatever kind of style of stalls that you want, but I thought I might as well go ahead and show you what I did on the inside. So the stalls are quite spacious, and they're also very simple. Um, I'm using the Equestrian Fantasy Texture Pack. I use their doors and some of their gates for the bars on the stalls. But anyway, yeah, I, I have to say most of my other barns are all quite very fancy and this is pretty fancy too and there are a lot of western barns out there that are very nice and very fancy but I was definitely going for a more rustic look which I feel like it turned out pretty good and it looks pretty pretty good but anyway so these are the gates that I was talking about that I used for iron bars and then I take um, iron trap doors and then put them on the top just to kind of you know finish it out and then I just do the same thing on the other side because this is a pretty small quaint little four stall barn I was thinking about leaving the roof open but then I decided I just want to close it in so I'm using stairs because the light will seep through the stairs and it'll make the inside of the barn not so dark if I use like slabs or another block it would block the light and then it would be very dark <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to make a little tack up slash cross ties area where you can get ready. I'm just going to take um, black carpet and make a little mat 
and then leave a little spot for a drain and then I'm gonna take these gosh I can't remember what that material is called but anyway the wall and then put a little post on the end a little chest and then we're gonna put um, the iron bars on that side and then we will I'll do the same little thing on that side so that you have like you know the cross tie area technically where you could tie ropes on either side but anyway okay <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself so we're gonna do the drain and then yes that's pretty much it now let's do the tack room which I'm not really gonna do the inside of it today I I'll just build the outside so that the barn is somewhat finished so the tack room is up to you whatever you want to do inside of it um, but on this side you will just do fill in the brick and then that is pretty much it so our barn is finished of course I haven't bedded the stalls or anything I will probably not get around to that right now but anyway guys this is the finished product and I hope you enjoyed this barn tutorial anyway thank you for watching if you do decide to copy it and if you post about it on social media please do give me credit but anyway guys if you would please like and subscribe it is much pre 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 appreciated <laughs> anyway Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!